Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new Silver Sea virtual premiere for our 2024 World Cruise. Our 2024 World Cruise will take you farther than ever before to explore how different cultures have come together to influence each other throughout time. We will take you far east and far west from one extreme of the globe to the other in terms of geography, climate, food and culture. From Hawaii to Indonesia, from New Zealand to the Russian Far East and Alaska, we have over 40 new destinations in 2024. Our local experts are ready to welcome you on board and ashore to immerse you in the stories of each destination. And we have created some exclusive experiences for you on our 2024 World Cruise. You will visit the extremes of the world for an experience far from usual. Let's start with our first of seven segments the remote islands of the Pacific, taking you from San Francisco to Lautok in Fiji, including the beautiful and sunny islands of Hawaii and the faraway magic of Samoa. Now, since I can't be everywhere at once, I've invited a few friends to report in from our distant destinations. Hi, Fernando. Hi, what have you got for us? Well, this is a blue Hawaiian. I meant our faraway world cruise destinations. All right. Well, I didn't want to brag. It's so beautiful here in Honolulu where our 2024 world cruise really gets its start after sailing from San Francisco. From your first day at sea, you'll get to enjoy all the amenities and comforts of your wonderfully intimate ship, the Silver Shadow, including some amazing food and wines, all while meeting up with familiar faces from the crew and from your fellow travelers. I love Honolulu for its incredible beaches, remote island feel, and laid back atmosphere. Time really slows down here, and from Nawili Wili to Kailua Kona, you'll enjoy small intimate beaches, crystal clear waters, and some beautiful local flora and fauna. Which reminds me, years ago, we were treated to once in a lifetime sight. A huge whale came alongside the ship and she was feeding her babies just a few meters away from the ship for about 45 minutes. We were all amazed. So you never know what Hawaii may bring. For 2024, we have a special historical evening planned for our World Cruise guests. A magical evening aboard the USS Missouri, docked in Pearl Harbor, complete with a lavish dinner at port. You know what I love about Honolulu? The shopping. <laughs> well, there's plenty of that. I just bought this ukulele, made famous throughout the world, thanks to Hawaii. And found out from the shopkeeper, it was actually introduced here by Portuguese immigrants, my native land. Incredible. You mean our native land. Pretty amazing. Of course, this is also the perfect place to grab a swimsuit as we continue along the Southern Pacific to the Faroe Islands of Kiribati, Samoa, and Savu Savu in Fiji. Some of the most beautiful waters in the world, fantastic scenery, swimming, snorkeling, and most important of all, souvenirs. Well, it do look great, Fernando, thanks. Now, in the next segment, we're going to be exploring a series of wonderful islands far away from anywhere else, including Fiji and one of the most remote countries in the world, New Zealand. Let's take a closer look with a brand new guest. 
hailing from its capital, Auckland. Kia ora, Fernando. Kia ora. Just trying my hand at rugby, the national pastime here. The funny thing is, rugby is actually 2,000 years old as the ancient Romans played a similar sport called harpastum. The overball was used in England a couple of hundred years ago and in American football more recently. It really represents a mix of times and cultures. And now we have the world famous All Blacks from New Zealand. Everyone here is a fan. Sorry. Anyway, this is a spectacular segment of our 2024 World Cruise and a brand new route as we will start our exploration in Lautoka, Fiji and move on to the marvelous Bay of Islands, one of New Zealand's most iconic and remote destinations. Turquoise water and over 140 largely untouched and inhabited islands welcome you as they did the first Maori settlers and European explorers for a melting pot of customs, traditions, and cultures that spans millennia. Then we will arrive here in Auckland to explore this amazing multicultural capital with its relaxed atmosphere, rolling hills, and incredible 48 volcanic cones for a truly unique urban experience. One of my favorite things to do here is to visit the many wonderful little shops that line its streets, including a rare bookstore where I once found an extremely rare autographed copy of Around the World in 80 Days. You mean this one? Ha! Huh. How did you do that? Ha! Huh. Ah, wait, I almost forgot. After Auckland, we take you even further west to beautiful Sydney for one of the most spectacular approaches to a harbour ever. The view of the city stretching out by the water sides with the famous opera house watching over it is breathtaking and truly unforgettable. It sounds great, Fernando, thanks. And now we move from one beautiful city to another beautiful city, Brisbane. Personally, I love its leisurely pace and great food. And we'll take you even farther all along the coast of Australia as we sail around half of the entire continent while also taking you far inland to places like Uluru, right at the heart of Australia. Our 2024 destinations include remote places like Mululaba, Thursday Island, and Broome on the Kimberley Coast. And for more on Australia, let's hear from... This thing is out of tune, it doesn't work. I'm not sure it is the instrument that is the problem. Good day, mate. Hello from sunny Australia, yes. Brisbane is indeed wonderful. Wait, were you here? Were you eavesdropping? What? No, of course not. Ha! We have a lovely overnight stay in Cairns where we dock right in the center of town, a beautiful port from where you can enjoy wonderful shopping. Opals are my favorite here. And visit the Great Barrier Reef. But the real highlight of Australia is right here at remote Uluru. We fly in from Darwin and you'll have an incredible overland tour, the spiritual heart of the continent for thousands of years. Our visit to this distant mountain in the desert features events created just for us, including sunset cocktails and a traditional Aboriginal dance performance that brings us back in time. We are so far out here, there is no light pollution. I have never seen so many stars. Can't wait for you all to join me. Me too. We'll also see each other at Komodo Island with its fantastic dragons and Bali, 
where crystal clear waters and beautiful beaches are set among a vivid backdrop of green rice paddies, terraced land and fascinating temples, both large and small. Great, Fernando, see you there. I think he's gone. And now for the next leg of our voyage, we will take you even further in terms of space and time. From the magical Bali to ultra-modern Hong Kong, full of amazing places, it features new destinations in Malaysia and the longest exploration of Indonesia ever on a Silver Sea World Cruise for a total of seven days. Let's go there now. Oh, boo. Oh, it's you? Who else got this in Bali? Some of these are actually over a thousand years old. The culture here is just incredible. And after Bali, we have a very exclusive overland tour that brings us all the way to the temples of Borobudur and Prambanan. Not one, but two UNESCO World Heritage Sites. We'll have a bespoke dinner event in Prambanan, as well as a cultural performance to enjoy before we move on to our next distant destination, Singapore, where we dock right in the middle of the city amongst the many high rises dotting its sparkling skyline. Then we have Malaysia, including stops at the unique and magical cities of Kuching and Kota Kinabalu. We stretch our sailing legs even farther to visit Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, with its beautiful mixture of local traditions and French flair. This city is so full of contrasts, you can spot locals riding mopeds loaded up with seemingly impossible cargo right next to the plush lobbies of magnificent world-famous hotels like the Rex or Hilton. I love it. I once remember counting 30 ducks on a small moped. <laughs> That's a lot of quacking. Now, right after Ho Chi Minh City, we get to visit the imperial capital of Hue, or Da Nang, which, as you know, I absolutely adore before finishing off this leg of our trip in Hong Kong with some great shopping. I'll give you my shopping list later. Bye, Fernando. And now our next segment gives us an in-depth look at the most iconic and vibrant waterfront cities across China and Japan. From Hong Kong all the way to places like Shanghai, Tokyo and Osaka, with several extended stays, including an inland overnight that takes us deep into China, all the way to Beijing. Hi, Fernando. Hi, you look gorgeous. I am gorgeous. I'm in Shanghai right now, scouting out the amazing World Cruise event we have planned for our 2024 guests. A unique and exclusive dining experience at a spectacular secret location. It's going to awaken our senses with a culinary voyage across the traditions of China. And of course, food service and ambience are always Silver Sea style. Nothing but the best of the best for our guests. We'll then move on to a few days in Beijing for some authentic Chinese culture, customs, food, and tea. The most consumed beverage in the world after water. China is full of surprises. And we haven't been here in Beijing with the World Cruise in five years. So I'm really looking forward to it. Just maybe don't eat so much this time. We have to think of our figures and of course our acting career. You don't eat so much. I'm going to enjoy myself with our guests, especially in Japan, a place of beauty and elegance like no other where the new and old live side by side, will enjoy the most in-depth exploration of Japan ever for our world cruise, nine whole days. So from tasting delicious food in Osaka to exploring the Imperial Palace and nightlife in Tokyo, we'll really see it all. Sayonara. 
and the excitement is just beginning for us on this voyage to the most faraway places on the planet. As for the first time on a world cruise, we'll be taking you to the far side of the globe. We'll be sailing to the Russian Far East and Alaska, including some amazing new destinations and a couple of days at remote Vladivostok, where I know someone who is already enjoying themselves. Oh yes, I love Russia. And it's not just the food, though the caviar and crab are some of the best in the world. Vladivostok here is just so impressive, with incredible history and traditions. Plus, we're going to have one of our most exclusive world cruise events here. An evening at the opera, with caviar and champagne at the world-famous Marinsky Theater's Primorsky stage, a symbol of Russia and Russian art throughout the centuries. Oh, wow, that sounds really cool. Yes, it's going to be epic. And from there, we'll visit even more remote outposts such as Korsakov and Petropavlovsk for a different look at Russia. In Korsakov, we'll be treated to a customary Russian welcome upon arrival and then sample some local delicacies and enjoy singing and dancing the traditional Cossack performance. Don't forget your camera. I'm taking it. Then we'll cross over to Alaska to see places like Dutch Harbor and Kodiak Island and our world cruise guests. We'll have the option of experiencing Kamchatka's dramatic volcanic landscapes and even hike up a crater with our helicopter and hot spring experience. I'm there. Me too. Spasiba, Fernando. And now we come to the final segment of the 2024 World Cruise, featuring destinations across the remote state of Alaska and Western Canada, including Whittier and Juneau, as well as the fantastic opportunity to sail right up to the Hubbard Glacier. And now introducing for one last time our very special guest. Should I be worried? Come on. Don't you like the lumberjack look? Uh, okay, maybe this is a bit much. Wendy, Wendy. I think his ego is getting the best of him. It's just that I enjoy Alaska so much. The immersive nature, breathtaking landscapes, and amazing wildlife. But that's not all. For example, here in Sitka, where I am today, there is a curious blend of North American and Russian character with Orthodox churches and domes standing side by side with modern American architecture. It's spectacular. Then, of course, there's the incredible blue glaciers, forests, rivers, and so on. And from Juno to Wrangell and Ketchikan, there is plenty of beauty to experience. I don't know these last places. New destinations? Well, for our world cruise, yes. And you'll get to see them all. From Alaska, we move on to Prince Rupert and Seymour Narrows, and then Vancouver in Canada. One of the most beautiful approaches to a harbor ever. As you come round the bridge with the entire city in sight, you'll spot elegant waterfront properties lining the coast amidst a backdrop of emerald green forests. Our last stop before returning to San Francisco is Victoria, with its lovely gardens, boutiques, and of course, bookstores. As well, the place where you can still get served a proper English tea, traditional ritual and all. A fitting end to celebrate having gone further than any Silver Sea World Cruise before. Well, thanks, Fernando, for all that. See you soon, real soon. That's what's waiting for you on board our farthest world cruise ever in 2024. We'll take you to the ends of the earth for amazing destinations. 
They are out of the way and out of the ordinary with cultures and customs that have influenced peoples all over the world. You can find out more info on SilverSea.com and we hope you are just as excited as we are to get going. I look forward to seeing you on board.